variables, constants, and data types. Let's start with variables. What are variables? As the name uh, implies, variables are quantities that vary. I give you one example. We trade different currency pairs. Let's take the example of euro dollar. Euro dollar. Its price keeps on varying. At one moment, it can be 1.10248. Uh, uh, after one minute, it can be 1.10526. After uh, another uh, one minute, it can be 1.1030. Uh, so this price is uh, continuously varying. So how do we keep track of this uh, variable price? We allocate a memory space in the computer memory and give it the name that we want to use for that variable. So in this case, let's uh, name the variable price. So after every uh, one minute, we measure the price and save that value in that memory space. If we want to uh, know the value of a euro dollar price, we can uh, check the price saved in that memory space. It will be a price uh, in the last one minute. So this is how we deal with variables in computer programming. Variables are basically memory spaces that we allocate in the computer memory and we give them specific names. Now, when we uh, allocate the memory space, we also tell the computer the type of variable it is. A variable can be integer, it can be double, it can be string. Uh, you have been using integers a lot uh, in your uh, high school. Integers are one, two, three, four, minus one, two, three, four. Whole numbers, they are integers. They don't have any decimal place. Double are numbers that have got decimal place. So in this case, euro dollar price is a double variable. It has got five decimal places. Strings are words or sentences. Hello is a string. How are you is a string. I want to go to the market is a string. So, Basically, we will be using with uh, these three uh, data types in the trade copier EA, integers, double, and strings. Another variable that we use is car. Car is a short for character. Characters are let's say I said hello is a string. So in hello there is H, H is a character, E is a character, L is a character, O is a character. In the same way in uh, integer uh, 1, 8, 2, 1 is a character, 8 is a character, 2 is a character. So we will also use characters, short is car, and uh, we will use bool. Bool are logical variables. They have value either true or false. I ask you what is the color of sky? You tell me it's blue. It's true. But if it tells you if you tell me that's red then it will be false. So bull is a logical Bulls are logical variables and they have only two values, true and false. There are other types of variables also, color, date, time, float. We will not be using them. Color is used to represent the RGB color code, R, red, G, green, blue, B, blue. And date, time variable is to when we want to deal with date and time. So now you should be clear what variables are. Variables are things that vary. And uh, we keep track of these variables by allocating 
memory spaces in the computer memory and each memory space is given a specific name when uh, we name the variables we always try to give them very clear expressive names so then later on when we are trying to debug the code we don't uh, have confusion that uh, what that variable was meant for so always use clear expressive names for the variables that uh, you define in your program this is an example of how you want to define a variable string size info box and and orders double the symbol price bool block date time t bigger data color c modify color so this is the color variable this date time we will not be using them but uh, you can you should have some idea about them as well constants are as the name implies uh, things that don't change so they are also sort of variables but uh, they don't change and so we declare them with the uh, word cost so we can save a cost in a variable allocate a memory space and declare it cost so i hope now you are clear with what variables are and what constants are and what are their data types variables are things that vary constants are things that don't vary and we have to declare variables and constants with expressive names and we have to tell the computer their data type data type can be integer it can be double it can be string 